Hi, today I'll lead you through the process of how I create such pieces on cardboard. First step, going down to the basement and checking if I have some old cardboard that I can reuse. Alright, here we got a box um, where we ordered something for the kids, so perfectly to reuse. Just cut out a paper size and perfectly to go. Secondly, I'm going to print the portrait that I'm going to trace to the cardboard. Third step is tracing. Sharpen your pencil and let's go. Just flip the page and cover it with as much as pencil as you can. Now take the cardboard, your reference picture and a pen and trace the most important lines so that they will be traced to the cardboard. You could also transfer the reference picture free-handed to the cardboard, but it's much easier tracing and just try to get as many reference points as possible. It makes it yeah, much more easy to, um, to do the painting afterwards. Let's move to the fun part. Take your acrylic markers and I usually use one millimeter up to two millimeter markers, but it's up to you how detailed you want to draw and what size you decide to draw. And then, yeah, just start filling it, filling in the values. Most of the times I start with the darkest colors first and then work myself up to the lightest colors. Make sure to work out all the fine details that you see on your reference picture. Now I'm changing from a black pen to a darkish gray blue. Now just always look at your reference picture and just fill in tone by tone. All right, done with the dark gray. Let's turn to the next color. As you can see here, white is always giving me a bit of trouble. It's not really covering everything. So you might want to use a primer or just do it like I did. I did um, just go layer by layer. In order to blend colors, I'd like to use a tissue paper and just put a little bit of color on the edge of the tissue paper and then just smudge it on the cardboard, on the painting, adding some fine black strokes to add some hair. With a scalpel, a blade or a knife, you can actually also cut out some parts of the cardboard. It gives it afterwards a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. Then I took some tape in order to cover it. So just take some masking tape and cover parts that you don't want to spray on and then go on to the next step and yeah, do some background with spray paint or whatever colors you want to use. For the background, I use two colors, one just a plain bluish color in the background and then I used some stencils and applied a little bit of a darker color in almost the same tone, but then it gives a nice look like a, a tile and it's a tile stencil that I use. If you liked the video, thumbs up would be great and here comes the final result. Also check out my channel for more videos of that kind, graffiti videos, new worlds and also cardboard art. See you next time!